Hello, welcome to channel Maths Magic. Today we are going to learn about true bearings. So, true bearings is basically measurement of direction by comparing with north direction. By comparing with north direction is called true bearing with north direction is called true bearings so this is the first important point about true bearings when you measure direction by comparing with north is called true bearing like what is what changes is taking place from north itself in true bearing we always measure in clockwise direction in clockwise direction to understand this we can consider one example so let's say there is someone standing at point A facing towards north. Now this person is slowly moving in such a way that he faces another point somewhere B. So, if you join this, so I'll just join this. This change in the direction of that person who is facing north, now he is facing point B. So, over here, You can see he is take uh, changing in he is changing the direction in clockwise direction. So we call this let's say this amount over here is one thirty degree. So this change in direction over here is called the bearing of B bearing of B from A this change in direction this direction change in this direction from A to B so basically you can say this amount is called bearing of bearing of B from A this change in direction is called bearing of B from A so what is the amount of or measurement of this bearing so this measurement is 130 degree this measurement over here is 130 degree which is change in a direction from north to some other position in clockwise direction okay now bearing of b from a over here is 130 degree If you want to figure out bearing of A from B, bearing of A, over here you have learned bearing of B, bearing of B from A. So you have to understand this very clearly. It's a bearing of B, of B, B is a far away point from A, direction is there at point A and from point A, it's a changing in clockwise direction towards B. 
so this is called bearing of b b is the far point and from a now if you want to know bearing of a bearing of a from b so first of all you have to draw a north line at point p you have to draw a north line at point b okay according to the rule which we discussed it's a change from north change from north now change from north in clockwise direction so if you will go clockwise and you want to face a so this is the whole amount of angle which will represent bearing of a from b now the question is how can you find this bearing okay so you over here you have to use some properties related to parallel lines so you should uh, uh, know that if you have two north line two north line these are two north line so these lines are parallel lines right if in transversal intersect two parallel lines so you can recall the properties related to parallel lines these are called co interior angles so if this is a and this is b then sum of co interior angle is 180 degree so if this is 130 then according to this rule it must be 50 degree now i think you must know angle around a point the whole angle is 360 degree this whole angle i'll just mark with the green this whole angle is 360 degree and you are looking for the angle which is marked with the red so it's very easy to find so bearing of a from b over here is going to be 360 minus 50 degree which is 310 degrees hope it's clear now okay over here i want to just add some important properties related to the bearing so bearing of a point like bearing of point from a to b and b to a varies with 180 degree bearing of a from a to b and from b to a varies with 180 degree so i'll show you the example over here so this is 130 degree over here so 130 degree plus 180 degree so this is 310 degrees so we can also find it directly using this properties so bearing of a to b and b to a varies with 180 degree so if you know the bearing of a to b you can find the bearing of b to a by adding 180 degree or by subtracting 180 degree for example if this angle 310 is known and you are looking for other one this one so you can subtract so if this one from a to b over here so over here we are given with bearing of b from a the smaller one and you are looking for if you are looking for the larger one you will add 180 if you are given with the larger one and you are looking for the smaller one you will subtract 180 hope this is clear now the last thing which i want to add over here is bearing is always written with three digits bearing is always written with three digits for example if anywhere bearing is written like bear amount or measurement of bearing is 70 degree 
so you will write it like 0 7 0 degree so this is the way we write bearings hope this is clear if you still have any doubts related to bearing like how you can find a bearing of point A from B or bearing of point B from A you can ask me and I'll get back to you for sure uh, before I leave I just want to conclude this over here you have to focus on two more, uh, important point so this from is very important word actually this from a you have to focus on this while you are solving bearing questions you have to focus on this word from a so if it says from any point so where it's a so your north line should be at this point a if it says from b then you have to draw a north line at b this is the key to find bearing if you can keep this in mind you can easily find bearing hope it's clear now thank you for watching